Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Hi. What up? What's good? What are you doing? I am browsing. I'm browsing. Lisa and I have taken a very lazy Sunday and made it exactly that. We have slept all day and now we're up. Now we're awake. And it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> That's what that means. Someone's going to bed really late. Yep. So, uh, we're sitting up watching Kendra. And Iman and I are going to spoof that show very soon. Aren't we? This is true. We have to. What are the chances that you have Kendra and Lisa Levine who have similarities in looks, so much so that every other comment on her channel says so. And then Kendra's boyfriend is a light skinned, tall black guy. So yeah. You're cute. No. You know. What's going on? I just reached 82,000 subscribers. <laughs> So I, I rented movies. Let's look at them. This is what I got. I rented. I rented Bart Got a Room because there's a YouTuber named um, Artie T S I M A W W P F D W. What? <laughs> it's Artie, the strongest man in the world. D. T S M I T W. Something like that, I think. Anyway, he's a YouTuber that you guys may not know about, but he's in this movie. I don't know how much he's in this movie, to what capacity, but he's in it. What is it called? R T A R T I E. T S M I N W. In this dude, Artie T S M I T W. Jesus. Anyway, he's a very talented YouTuber. A lot of you guys don't know about him. He's in this movie. I watched the blog, so I'm gonna check this movie out and see what he's about. But I got this. Does anyone know about this movie? Cocoon. It's a it's an 80s classic. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Cocoon. All right, here's the third movie I rented. I always be holding the stuff backwards in the camera. All right, here's the third movie I rented. Cloverfield. Have you guys seen it? A lot of you guys know, as I've mentioned a couple times before, I'll put it right here like a free promo. A lot of you guys know, as I've mentioned before, I love horror, thriller, all that stuff. Specifically horror and thrillers. Thrillers I love. But um, this movie I really want, I've been, been wanting to see for a long time. And uh, I actually really liked it a lot, um, and I want to watch it again. But I was just wondering, this movie was, you know, it's kind of like, you know, basically something comes to Earth, you know, th they can't stop it, blah, 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 it's the end of the world type thing. And I, I think, you know, with me, I think for some reason I'm like kind of obsessed with those kind of movies. Um, I'm really particularly drawn to those kind of movies too. Like, I like movies where... I like movies that kind of pre uh, pre present a sense of danger that we could actually experience. Now, Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, some dude popping up in your dreams with claws, that's not very likely to happen. So, <laughs> that's, you know, it's, a, it's fun to watch, but you don't really think when you go home that you're going to be like, you know, Jason's going to pop up, in, you know, in the woods or Freddy's going to pop up in my dreams and, and kill me in my sleep. I mean, that kind of stuff can't actually happen. But things like that, like when we talk about other life forms or a comet heading towards Earth and or everyone on the planet has a week to live or things that could actually happen really intrigue me. And I think it's because ever since I was a kid, I've had apocalyptic kind of dreams. Like I've always had dreams about the world ending and wars happening and this country attacking that country. And for some reason, like, I don't know why, but I just have. I remember when I was young, I had a dream about Russia attacking the U.S. Uh, with a new type of missile that came from underwater. And it didn't when it hit the the shore. It wouldn't explode with like like a normal explosion, like flames. But it would it would it would explode, and these like invisible radiation waves would come out and just make everyone sick. And uh, I dreamt that when I was really young, and I remember telling people that, and they were like, "This is before I even knew about biological warfare and all of that stuff." So I don't know. Either I'm just like a weirdo, or maybe 
I'm a prophet and I don't, and I don't even know it. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm just being silly. But um, but no, I really, I really do have those dreams, and I still have dreams like that here and there, um, about just end time events and just different things occurring. I don't know why I dream about that stuff. So I, I, I get kind of drawn to movies that have that kind of thing. So with that said, my question to you guys is, what is my question? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know when you. My, my question to you guys out there, when you see movies like that, not like horror movies where you know that okay that's scary but at the same time that can never actually happen you know but movies where it presents a sense of danger or a sense of panic and it's a scenario that could actually happen and probably might happen at some point in our in our lifetime on this earth are you drawn to movies like that does it intrigue you does it freak you out can you not watch horror do you just stay away from it i'm curious to know what you guys think because i don't know i don't even know what my question is but i'm tired it has been the laziest Sunday in the history of the human face. That doesn't make any sense. Over.